Wall angels are a great exercise for helping get some mobility back and just teaching your body that it's okay to move again. So one of the hallmarks there then is we wanna have feet out away from the wall, bum touching, shoulders touching, head touching, chin level. So if you have to do this, we got some work to do. Um, but start with chin level if you can. And then an ideal wall angel is gonna be like this. Being able to keep your hands against the wall, so the backs of your hands against the wall, and I'm not having to arch too much in my back or things like that. We get that that may not be where you're at. So um, one of the things that we often teach people to do is if, if you can't quite do this, then to start here and come back as far as you can, ideally doing that, right? Being able to come all the way back to the wall. But if at first it's like this, that's okay. What we wanna do is just do lots and lots of that until you can get back to the wall and it's just a progression of going a little bit further and a little bit further. And if your head can't quite fit, you know, against the wall or your back lifts off, that just means we've, we've got some areas that we need to work on the mobility of. And so that will come with time. That's, we love this exercise for building that mobility. So it's okay to start with your head off a little bit. You may even put like a, a small ball behind your head to push it into to start retraining those muscles. Another point to remember with this exercise is you want to keep it, you know, to where it's not increasing your pain. We want, as you, as you come up and do this, you'll feel it, but we don't want it to make it worse. So if you feel it a little bit and it's like, ooh, there's the edge of that pain, we want you to stay right on the edge of that pain. We don't want you to make that pain any worse. So stay, stay away from it being painful or, or it really flaring things up.